I'm Mr. Ike. Uh, the, I process Gary. I'm into Gary production. And uh, that is what I do for a living. No amount of Gary you take to the market that you won't sell. Because it's a food where the rich and the poor eat. I was doing this business with someone else before and uh, when I went back to school to further my education, things were not moving fine and I have to return back then. That was when I now stood on my own to get the business being done. So for like 10 years now, I've been in the business. NNPC, I, I worked with them before. I did some work for them as a trainer. Yeah, I train most of their staffs, their workers, and I give them some health talk, and I place them on health, the uh, area where things you eat, what to eat, and when to eat them. Gary business is a business that, it's, it's like crude oil business. It's a business where, from, from cassava himself, from the cassava peel, the cassava starch, the water of the starch, everything about cassava is productive. Everything about cassava. We can get animal meal from cassava. We can get starch from cassava. We can get chemical from cassava. We can as well get food from cassava. We can as well get manure from cassava. Now, if older youth can work the way I'm doing now, I believe in the next few years to come, we'll be looking at the oil sector or the government will be, we'll be looking at those areas who we'll look straight on Gary business because Gary business can give us what we want. My experience and my challenge in this business, in this work is, is a work where you need to get hands to join you. You can't do it alone. And getting people to join you, you need fun, you need money to, to make people work because you got to pay them. And uh, the challenge we're having in it is uh, when you, most times the farmer comes to sell for you and because you don't have the money to pay them, they move away and uh, at the same time again, the people who work for you, just because you don't have money to pay them for the ones they did for you, you won't see them again. So those are the challenges we have been having. And when you finish your production, taking it to the market again is a big problem. They will start pricing it low that what you spend in it, you can achieve it. So that's been the challenge we're having in the business. Before we start the Gary processing, we go to the farm, we'll see the cassava, then we'll check if it is one being farmed for one year plus or two years. So if it is one being farmed for two years, you, you spend more to get that kind of cassava because the cassava himself is already mature to give you good Gary. Then in the course of that, we engage the farmers to uproot it. Then we load it in a vehicle, in a van, that is pickup, to bring it down to the factory. And in that period, we engage some boys to do the work, which we pay them. Then when we get to the factory, we engage the women to peel the cassava. After peeling, they, they wash the cassava and we grind it to turn it to cassava match. And this period, we pay them again to do this process for us. And after that, we go into drying, where we press out the water out. And some of these women, they do this work, and we pay them again. Then from the pressing, we go to frying. Then from frying, then we take it to the market. No amount of Gary you take to the market that you won't sell. Because it's a food where the rich and the poor eat. You understand? But the challenge we are having is moving them to where the co consumers are. Because the consumers are the ones that will tell you how good and how well the Gary is. Now most times the people who move it to us, they charge us much. That when we get to the market, the consumers cannot buy. Because we got to add what we spend moving it to the market. In the area of peeling in a pickup load, we use as minimum of 40 persons to produce one pickup of cassava, that is peeling. Then in the course of frying, in that the same pickup we use 40 persons, we use 
one less than six to seven persons to the frying. Yes. What led to this was one, the people who produce the cassava. As I said earlier on, we use workers 40 to peel and we use like seven to fry. But because of the expenses involved in it, we drop to 20 persons to peel the pickup of cassava and we use like three or four to do the frying. And uh, for, because we drop our workers, we're unable to produce large scale. So, and that started affecting the market because by the time you run all these expenses on the cassava and you take it to the market to sell, if you're unable to make your money, you'll be able to return back to the market again. So that was the challenge we are having. And in those days, in then, 90, 20, 2000, the market were a bit normal because as soon as you finish your products, the customers are already on ground to buy. But these days now, because of low quality and uh, the challenges of uh, financial support, we were unable to beat the market. The government had to eat because most times we don't have much land first of all let me use that word the land to farm we don't have lands to farm which is one and secondly the support we need from the government in terms of fertilizer uh, uh man supports to to get this work being done are not on ground again so it has really really affected the business the way government is going now concerning agriculture in nigeria if the government can still maintain this standard or do more, I believe we will go around in the world. And uh, the economy will boost because the government has already supports the, the business. So we will go around. In Ghana, I once had a, a communication with some guys in Ghana that process Gary. The way they process Gary in Ghana and the way we process Gary here are not the same. We, we still, in Nigeria, uh, I would say 90% of us still produce in local way. Using the clay, the sand to mold the oven and the small pots. But other countries, they use industrial fryer, which, which can take half pickup of cassava in a section. So in less than four to five hours, we should be able to produce not less than two pickup of cassava. So if government can assist us to go for the industrial grinding machine, industrial extractor, industrial fryer, I believe we will do better. And that is why, as you can see from the previous videos and the shots we took, you can see the women frying with a small pot on top of a clay sand and some firewood under. So in that way, we will be able to cover the, um, the markets in town. First of all, if government can assist us on this, I believe job will be all around because one, by the time we, we the producers produce, the graduate or people outside lack of job can come and move it from us and take it to other country. And in that way, they will be able to make something for themselves. And we have all kinds, we have different kinds of gari. We have the yellow gari, we have the jebu gari, we have the white gari. Now the yellow gari is the one we do with oil and all that. So if government can assist us in that way, I believe there will be a job in the country. In cassava I do, I still do animal meal. I process animal meal, which I have them on ground. I process, like from the animals I want to mention, pig, goats, cow, chicken, fish, I process their meal. Then I process starch from cassava uh, production. And at the same time again, we still process chemical used to kill grass from the water. That is our decide. Then uh, at the same time again, I'm a, I'm a dietitian. I do things of health. I, those who are on uh, obesity, I walk them out. I give them healthy food to eat. And the people that want to share the weight, that want to keep fit, I engage them in one workout or the other. Then those on the disabled, on which uh, people who cannot walk, people who have some physical challenge, not from birth. I bring them out from it.
Only are the fine. Who are you? Who are you?
you know, when they don't see you wear suit, they will go and say, you know, no cassava. No matter this is ready for, for, for town, where they look poor boy, you go. No, no, I better know they breed. Now, all vice versa. Oh, so now, now two sides you get. Now two sides you get. They know they breed. You see now, you know, you know what you make a marry. Nice one. 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 Yo, uh, uh, 